Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 23rd, 2020. So grab your cup of coffee or whatever beverage of choice that you have. Let's dig into the Thursday edition of the morning market prep. Yesterday, we had kind of an interesting day. We had, last couple of days actually, we've seen a rally in the mornings pushing up, that wild bullishness kind of pushing up, but then struggling to hold that here in, in the Dow. Um, yesterday seemed to be the same. What's interesting in this chart though, however, is even though we have this little bit of caution maybe starting to show up, it's really not showing us much of any kind of bearishness. As a matter of fact, it would seem that the bears are just still hibernating or they're trying to wake up, but they're uh, pretty sleepy um, at the moment. Can't seem to really get anything going to the downside at all. So we, we still have um, a room to even move down to test some support and what it looks like to me is the diamonds may be slipping into more of a little consolidation range could be just that little consolidation as we slide over here toward the trend um, as we rest and trying to take stock of what's going on um, around the world things that are affecting the market and one of those things um, seems to be having a uh, a rather heavy effect um, would be this um, virus that's starting to spread around the world. China um, last night locked down two cities in an attempt to slow the spread of the virus that have, has now reached about 600 people and um, only 17 deaths at this point, but we expect those numbers to uh, to start moving up because this is a very, very deadly uh, virus going around. And um, so they're taking some action. Now, what that created last night is Asian markets uh, sold off pretty sharply last night, um, struggling with uh, this situation and how that might affect um, all of their celebrations um, over there that were ready to kick off, expecting lots and lots of travel. That may affect things dramatically over there there um, in that region so let's keep an eye on that that's kind of put a little bit of a, a damper on the market you know one of the things that's interesting is is we have the political uh, drama going on in the Senate with the um, impeachment trial happening right now but it seems like the um, coronavirus has kind of stolen uh, the spotlight from the political drama and more folks seem to be focused on this spreading virus than um, than they are on um, the impeachment trial seems to have stolen an awful lot of the media attention as well. So a little bit of fear creeping into the market because of that, but I don't think we've got anything here that's particularly bad. And as you can see, trend really remains very, very strong, even though I would say that I believe, and this is me personally, I believe we are very stretched here. I think we're way overbought, um, at least in the short term, um, a healthy market always requires a pullback to test support. We cannot just run straight up without tests of support. And if, if we do, the longer that continues, it adds more and more danger to uh, the market that quick reversal could cause some serious damage if that were to occur. So let's take a look at the SPY here. SPY, very much the same situation where we try to push up, we hit new record highs yesterday in the SPY, but then we just saw that little bit of calming come over the market, a little bit of, I wouldn't wanna say fear just yet, but a little bit of worry that we have stretched this a little bit too far. Now, what I would say is, once again, we got to have a little teeny tiny level of support in here. We could just be sliding into a bit of a consolidation here after such a big run. And even that is a bullish move, um, in my opinion. If we can't break down and we consolidate, that actually sets up more opportunity for upside. So keep that in mind. Um, if we just consolidate here, that's probably a healthy thing for the market 
Mexico. Once again, we are pretty far stretched away from these key moving averages. And um, at some point in time, that could get very serious. As a matter of fact, if we look at this on a weekly chart, I'd almost have to say this is becoming a bit parabolic here in this move. And that is always a concern to be uh, made aware of. So let's take a look at the cues. Now, cues remained quite strong yesterday, um, setting new record highs. As you can see, this bullish uh, trend really uh, impressive, but it is extending here um, in this last part of the move. And you can see a bit of a, um, a bearish kind of candle pattern here um, starting to show up, but I don't think it's going to be too serious um, at least at the moment in that chart but one thing uh, once again I'm going to point out we are this is a weekly we are very stretched away from our averages and we are gaining that appearance of that parabolic look um, on that weekly chart we need a rest or a consolidation so perhaps just a little consolidation over to trend is exactly what we need and that may be just what the doctor ordered so if we can just kind of slip sideways here for a while that would be very bullish for the market without seeing those bears really kick up let's take a look at iwm now iwm has had a little bit more of a struggle here and you can see pulling back but if i were to mark out the the major part of this trend and i'm really going to start it here because this was kind of a rally back after a big sell-off kind of start in here you can see we still are holding this trend and we're holding this support level across here so so far no technical damage has been done in iwm other than you know we tried to break through that resistance up here and failed to hold on to that but really no major technical damage showing up even in IWM, at least as of right now. Now, today we have a really big um, day of earnings reports, and we'll want to keep an eye on that. In fact, it, in fact, it's the biggest of this week, and it is the biggest of this quarter so far. So we'll want to keep an eye on that. If, if we happen to get a stumble from one of these um, earnings reports, that's where we could have some trouble. If, if something stumbles and we'll want to watch that pretty closely but right now um, on the VIX we had a little tiny bit of fear creeping into the market um, yesterday you can see we've bounced up off of this low area creeping up here just a little bit with that selling yesterday but I don't see anything in here that is terribly concerning at least at the moment as you can see if we draw a line across here there's some support resist or resistance in this area of the chart and we would have to break through there even to come up here and attack the downtrend that we have going on here in the VIX so I don't see anything major here causing an awful lot of fear and then in T2122 although we've been trying to make those move up during the day trying to pop up it's been very select stocks doing that um, we're still having the big guys the the google the apple the microsoft the facebook those kind of stocks holding the market up while the rest of um, stocks seem to be getting a little bit of a rest or a little bit of a pullback so as you can see here on the t2122 we're back down here in the mid range of t2122 and that doesn't tell us direction but it does tell us that we have a uh, plenty of room now to move up if we can find some bullish inspiration but we still have that potential of that move down if we find some bearish inspiration so let's keep an eye on that close we're kind of in that mid-range where we could go either direction we'll want to uh, stay pretty focused to price action and want to be really careful not to over trade or chase stocks that are well within their move remember we want to be buying stocks at or near price support we don't want to be buying stocks that are stretched out heading up into resistance levels and there are a lot of charts showing that condition right now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today because our economic calendar does have a little bit to say about what's going on today. Um, we've got, first thing this morning, whoops, sorry, didn't mean to pick that up. Uh, first thing this morning, we have our jobless claims um, here at 8.30 a.m. Wouldn't expect any big surprises there. Um, not much not much happening. The, the 
uh, natural gas report here at 1030 and then the petroleum status report at 11. And that's really a pretty light day to tell you the truth here on the calendar. So this one can move the market around a little bit, particularly those oil service sectors. But I wouldn't expect the Fed balance sheet or the natural gas report to really have uh, really any effect on the market. Probably our biggest chance of a market moving event this week is going to be the PMI flash. And um, that's not likely to even move us around much. What's moving our market is, of course, earnings. And we have over 100 companies reporting earnings today. And um, those earnings have started to roll out this morning. One of the bigger ones that we'll want to keep an eye on this morning is um, um, Intel. Intel could be a pretty big earnings report. And we'll want to keep an eye on that today. Um, when it reports. Yesterday, we saw Intel just soaring ahead of that earnings report with this wild bullishness um, in there. So watch that for that report um, uh, later on today. Take a look at uh, Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble has already reported. And you can see P&G slipping here on that report this morning. Um, so we'll want to just keep an eye as these continue to roll out this morning, how they might affect the overall market. Um, we've got quite a few of those earnings to be thinking about. We have some um, airlines reporting uh, today, like um, American Airlines reporting today. Um, we have reporting today. We have uh, some conservative stocks like KMB, um, old stodgy conservative stocks, um, Kimberly Clark reporting today. So quite a little bit uh, coming out in today's earnings events. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And and I, I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that and takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You know. Uh, you guys um, humble me almost every day with your kind words and comments. So thank you so much. You know, I, I get um, lots of thanks and appreciation for the effort that I put in to put to make this video. But I got to tell you, we would only grow as a channel if um, if it weren't for you. Um, I can do the best job I, I can putting out some good quality content, but if nobody's watching it, nobody is appreciating it, um, the channel doesn't grow. So it really comes down to you guys. Thank you so much for that. Um, and I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up things that we wanna be watching for. Remember, none of these stocks are a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They're just part of the education things that I do. And if you find um, something in here, make sure you do a thorough evaluation and make sure the trade fits you. Take a look at this stock blue, Bluebird. Um, this is a biotech and I'm not much of a trader of biotechs. As a matter of fact, I tend to just not trade them at all because of the, the extreme volatility that um, uh, are in these trades. But as you can see, Bluebird, um, we've got this nice little trend going on here. And I've been watching this. As you can see, I had a, an alert stretched across here. And we're now getting that little resting pullback. If that were to pop up in here or consolidate across, Bluebird may have that opportunity to really start coming up. And you can see this is a beautiful break of a downtrend starting to move up in this pattern and looking pretty good. Now, we do have a significant level of resistance above to be made aware of. If you think or thinking about trading this, um, um, Oops, let me go to the daily. I didn't realize I was on the weekly there. There we go. Um, so we are pushing up toward this 200 day moving average in resistance. Now this is a pattern that we call a round and bottom breakout where we break above that 50 that we've been oversold in this move and then we kind of rest and hold, pull back in here, test support and start to move up. So Bluebird is one to maybe keep an eye on 
if you like trading biotechs if you're like me the volatility in these uh, typically isn't worth the uh, the effort to trade them I kind of prefer a uh, little simpler stocks but I always like to show stocks that are potentially setting up so keep an eye on that one take a look at Lilly um, Eli Lilly really nice chart and a great pattern unfortunately what we have going on here is we have earnings coming just around the corner but keep an eye on that stock we've just been moving up in this beautiful pattern this consolidation over the over to the trend could be setting up here at any time so watch that one closely Eli and Lily continuing to look good um, Nvidia Nvidia continues to consolidate we tried to pop out yesterday and that little bit of caution a little bit of uh, pullback in the market settled it back down into this um, tight consolidation zone right in here and watch this in here if that continues to move over toward that trend for that opportunity for that to pop out now um, it could be you know something as simple as the intel report um, inspires nvidia higher so watch this here and if we pull this back you can see we do have some resistance area in this air, uh, chart so that's one of the things that's holding it down but if it can finally pop through that area we could start reaching up here um, into this 275 280 area trying to test these highs in nvidia so keep an eye on that chart um, another chart you might want to keep an eye on is uh, lowe's Lowe's had an interesting um, little pullback here broke trend but we've recovered that so notice that Lowe's is right up here testing some price resistance in this chart if I pull this back this is a huge breakout here for Lowe's holding up in here so what I would want to do is I would want to just actually create another alert in this chart if we can break up through here there may be an opportunity in lows and then if i look at this on a weekly chart i think this is a really um, nice weekly potential setup here may need a little bit more consolidation in here but looking pretty good so lows holding up quite well showing pretty good signs overall um, in the chart take a look at a stock like iq now iq popped through yesterday popped up popped through um, i brought this one up yesterday and then pulled back so let's watch this in here if that holds in this area doesn't break down below that trend there's still that opportunity that iq could move on through so keep a close eye on it it's holding up pretty darn well amcx is another one that i was watching pop through there and now we've pulled back we have a bit of a morning or evening star type pattern here showing up that would signal a little bit of bearishness but one of the things we always want to pay attention to if a stock can hold on to that trend and hold on to that price support we sh could still be okay in this chart just a little bit of back and forth so watch this in here if that can perk back up i wouldn't be rushing into that trade just yet but something to keep an eye on in in that chart still looking pretty good overall boy we, there's so many stocks right now that are pushing up into resistance levels pushing up um, into all-time highs we have to be really really careful with the way we trade these um, one of the things that I've been watching a lot of is, st is stocks that have been really oversold for some time starting to set up in these patterns and I'm keeping an eye on like 3M holding this trend uh, trying to break through some price resistance in the chart watching that closely but it's just been an interesting market with everything being so extremely bullish we're going to want to just be careful how we approach these remember we don't want to be rushing into trades that are well within a move um, I'm going to use Home Depot as an example here Home Depot was one of those charts that just really fired up here off this trend and the last thing we want to be do do is chase these trades that are well into that move so be really careful here make sure you're buying stocks that are at or near price support levels rather than at or near price resistance levels it's easy to do it's easy to chase 
price in a market like this we get caught up in that emotion so be careful with that and make sure not to over trade this market we're at that particular point in this market where anything is possible we get a little stumble maybe in um in earnings reports and we could have a significant pullback in the market. I'm just gonna go to um, the Dow chart here and just show you if we just pulled back to here, um, that's going to account for a um, 175 point drop because we're so extended up here, just those little tiny moves in this chart uh, accounts for a big point move. If we were to actually slip below that support, you can see that's a 296 point drop in the Dow. So we could have a very significant pullback, still not damage the overall trend of the chart, but just keep that in mind. It's one of the reasons why we don't wanna over trade and get overextended because those pullbacks can cost us a lot of money really quickly so watch those things closely so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits in your training please do remember to click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment click those uh, subscribe buttons if you haven't done that um, yet i want to wish you all the best have a great day we'll talk to you all bright and early friday morning take care now